Jackie had chosen to stay with John. She had become the first lady at 31 years old. Was this the start of a new dream? The presidential couple were not just youthful, they represented an ideal. They would surpass everyone. And I can assure you that uh, every degree of mind and spirit that I possess would be devoted to the long-range interests of the United States and to the cause of freedom around the world. She loved powerful men. She was proud of her husband, of his sang-froid, his command of every situation. She was proud too of his fight for black civil rights and for receiving their leaders in the White House, led by Martin Luther King. Jackie helped him too with her support of the Hispanic community. <laughs> Je ne fais pas des discours, mais j'aime beaucoup rencontrer des gens, parler avec eux, voyager avec mon mari. C'est la seule façon où je peux le voir. In May 1961, on their first official visit, John Kennedy was received by Charles de Gaulle. The photographers had got the message straight away. The star here was the one in the yellow suit, Jacqueline Kennedy. This was the day she was born again, the historical encounter of a face with an era. Before, Jackie had taken refuge in her dream life. Now, she was the great 1960s dream. In France, she showed off her preppy style, that half smile of hers which soon women the world over would be copying. She had the beguiling charm of a geisha. André Malraux was unable to resist. In Paris, a star of the media had been born. John took pleasure in announcing it. I do not uh, think it altogether inappropriate to introduce myself to this audience. I am the man who accompanied Jacqueline Kennedy uh, to Paris, and I enjoyed it. Her iconic status became worldwide. When John traveled abroad on his own, he met with the same placards. Of course, I do have an official role as wife of the president. And I think every first lady should do something in this position to help the things she cares about. I would hope that when I leave here, I will have done something to help in the, to make, well, in the arts where I, which, in which I'm so interested. Jackie was now able to impose the restoration of the White House to build her dream. She wanted to turn the presidency into the new kingdom of Camelot. When her work was done, she invited 60 million Americans in to discover this kingdom. Right into the heart of the White House, the Holy of Holies, Abraham Lincoln's bedroom. I love living in this room. Are all the pieces from Lincoln's time? Ah, uh, yes, they are. The most famous one, of course, is the Lincoln bed. Every president seemed to love it. Theodore Roosevelt slept in it. Legendary evenings had to be held in the Kingdom of Camelot. Jackie invited Pablo Casal, Leonard Bernstein, or the violinist Isaac Stern, who gave memorable concerts. Here's the president leaving the Oval Office to go and play with his son, John John, whom Jackie had given him just after his election. A natural president, a family man, so close to his children. No doubt the love of his daughter Caroline's life. A picture of absolute power and the simple, loving life of a united family. Jackie's new dream that had triumphed in all the media. A 
dream that was constructed painstakingly for the cameras and projectors. John was beside Jackie, playing the director and leading man. Sometimes an image slipped out of his control. The one of the man who limps. His Addison's disease still required its daily injections, but there was also the venereal disease he had caught as a young man and which resisted antibiotics. And then there was the cocktail of amphetamines and steroids that Dr. Jacobson regularly injected in him. Jackie knew all about it. Her husband was on life support. She knew too that he was a slave to his libido with an endless craving for fresh female flesh. Jackie had wanted to introduce beauty into the White House. Did she know that John was also fond of Lincoln's bedroom? That he liked to quick tumble on the big bed with his 15 or 30 minute mistresses? Did she know that her every move was watched by bodyguards armed with walkie talkies? For the swimming pool in the basement was the president's playground. Several naked women would be bathing there. This was about sex, with all the doors guarded. Was she scared about what she might find one day if she pushed open one of the doors of a scandal that could smash the new dream? Every evening, the lights came up again on Camelot. That time, their host was the French writer and minister, André Malraux. It was yet another evening devoted to art and beauty.